I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Zach Jordan, the president of Goodbit. Zach, thank you so much for taking the time to be on the show. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. You're very welcome. Uh, I'd love to start out with a little bit of information on Goodbit. If you could tell us exactly what is Goodbit and what was the vision for you and your team when you started the project? Yeah, I'd say in a nutshell, Goodbit is an education platform for the general public. Um, and when I was a student at Brown, my co-founders and I had been involved with cryptocurrency for a couple of years. Um, we're actually relative newcomers to the space, relative to people who've been here since the very beginning. And when we were first getting involved with blockchain and cryptocurrency, it was very difficult for us to really get a handle on what everything was, how it worked, how were we able to really trust the technology um, and, and get our hands on some really quality information. Um, and so we started looking around to see if there were any sites that really provided high quality free information to people. Um, and, you know, we ended up dredging Reddit and we're all over YouTube and there's, you know, there's, there's, there's information that's dispersed, but it's really siloed in different areas all over the internet. And that's a problem if you're just someone who has five to 10 minutes and you want to learn what Bitcoin is or you want to learn what blockchain is and you don't really know where to start or where to go. Um, the other problem was a lot of these educational sites used very technical language. So if you're just your normal person, which most of us are, we were when we started it out, everyone's there at some point, um, you're really not interested in those super deep technical details. And, and to be honest, they're not relevant at first. So we wanted to create the platform that would allow people to really have access to that high quality information for free. We wanted to put it all in one place. The other thing that we noticed that was missing from the space um, were uh, videos that were really professionally um, well made, I guess you could say. So you have all kinds of interviewers like yourself that do a great job of exposing new projects that are working on things. But in terms of just straight, you know, down to details information on the very, very basics, most companies just don't have the budget for it or the interest in doing it because that's not their main focus, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so we decided to make it ours. So hopefully we can provide the information for those companies and for the general public so that. Um, you guys don't have to put in that effort yourselves. That's great, Zach. And yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, confusion about where to find the proper information and to do it concisely uh, because it can be very complex when you get into Bitcoin and there are steps you need to sort of learn the fundamentals first. So are you guys mainly targeting people that, you know, this is day one with Bitcoin or do you also provide a little bit of intermediate and advanced information? Yeah, 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 of course. So our, our bread and butter is our 101 series, which is takes you through Bitcoin, blockchain, um, everything that you would need to know to get started. And that's really targeted at beginners. That's water cooler talk. That's everything that you need to get started. We also have a ton of in-depth information on our site as well, though. So we have in-depth articles on everything from mining to cryptographic hash functions, breaking down math, really diving into the technical details as well. I would say that we're mainly targeting you know, the majority of people. And those people haven't heard much beyond, oh, Bitcoin had this huge price bump. Is it real? I'm not really sure. Um, what even is blockchain? How does that relate to Bitcoin? Is that a technology or is Bitcoin the same thing as blockchain? Um, so that's, that's really our main focus. And that's mostly because I think that uh, the vast majority of people really haven't become involved with the space yet. It's still small and it's growing rapidly, but mm -hmm. um, a lot of times all people hear about is the price action. Mm -hmm. um, and that's good because it drives interest in the space. But I think that for this entire space to really expand and for the technology to be recognized for its true potential, you have to have educated people, right? Um, so, for example, uh, when the internet first came along, you, you don't have to know how the internet works, but you have to be able to know what it's capable of, how you use it, and why that matters and why it's relevant to your life. And so mm -hmm. that's really what we focus on. We also really pride ourselves on the language style that we use. So we speak all in plain English. It's very colloquial. You'll see in our videos, we're wearing just a, a standard button down. You know, um, we try to be, you know, the person that, you know, the friend that you met who knows a little bit and isn't trying to talk down to anyone. We're just providing simple, straightforward information so that you can make your own decisions on what you think is the right thing to mm -hmm. do. Yeah, that's a great analogy, analogy Jack, Zach. And so, as you mentioned, a lot of people get into the industry through seeing the prices and, and the markets going up, um, yet you guys talk a lot about the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Are you going to expand into markets, technical analysis, or talking about specific blockchain projects, or are you going to st stick to just how the networks work? 
Yeah, so we actually have a whole section on our site about investing. And our whole thesis on that is don't invest unless, first of all, you know the basic tenets of investing. So we're talking do your own research, right? Do your due diligence, understand what you should really be looking for. Um, and then second of all, you know, you should really understand the technology before you put any money into it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that was a big problem. Um, and that's why I think in a lot of ways, sometimes well, the blockchain industry gets a bad rep because people, you know, they hear about this crazy price action, they invest without knowing what they're getting themselves into. And then a lot of times they get burned. That was actually one of the main drivers behind, you know, the importance of this project. And one of the main reasons that we decided to take this on uh, is we saw too many people have the wrong impression because they weren't really sure how to get started safely. So we have a whole section on our website that details uh, how to safely do your background research. What are the important factors you should be looking for? Um, and then, you know, some details about how to invest safely if you want to. Um, we're not trying to push anyone to invest in the space, but the tools are there for them. We actually have custom built um, and interactive tools to help people pick, for example, the best exchanges for them, depending on what they're interested in, and also the best wallets to safely store their funds once they purchase that if they choose to. So we've expanded into that. And additionally, right now, our main focus in terms of content has been on pushing out lots and lots of video content. And so we do that in the form of, you know, maybe more intensive uh, five to 10 minute videos on the basics and the fundamentals. And then we focus on smaller one to two to three minute videos on, for example, individual coins, individual protocols, perhaps details about certain um, types of investing, stuff like that, coins versus tokens, um, more due diligence things. So we are not financial advisors, but we do want to make sure that everyone out there has the opportunity to get themselves the kind of quality education that they will need to make educated decisions. That's great, Zach, and I really appreciate high quality video content. There definitely needs to be more of that in the scene, uh, and a lot of people are finding that searching through video is becoming the number one way to learn more information now. So that's really great to hear that you guys have got on top of that. I'd love to hear a little bit more about GoodBits partners and investors so far in the project. Yeah, so we came out to California from Brown University um, kind of because we were so interested in, in the project. We, we, we just dropped everything, came out to California, and started working on the project. So initially, we were bootstrapping. Uh, and we managed to get ourselves involved in the crypto community. It's still pretty small, I find. And um, some of the people we met were gave us fantastic advice and eventually became advisors and uh, investors. So our, our main investors right now are... Uh, Jeremy Gartner and Bob Manuzzi of Awesome Ventures. And Jeremy is famous for his um, crypto castle, uh, which he, I believe he just started a new one in Miami as well. So he's had a fantastic treasure trove of knowledge. And he actually was able to really help us out through his blockchain education network, which was a consortium of college, Bitcoin, and blockchain clubs that work together to support each other. Um, and they've been very supportive of us. And then in terms of partnerships, we're looking at partnering with um, a lot of a lot of companies in the space. So as I mentioned, education just really isn't the main focus for a lot of companies in the space, nor should it be, right? You guys are, are, are busy building out the technical infrastructure for things that will totally change the world. So a lot of times there isn't the budget, there isn't the time, there isn't the priority to really focus on the education. So what we do is we offer our content to these companies um, to, to use to help educate their audiences, which is ultimately good for everyone. Uh, so we are working with CoinMarketCap right now, and we have a couple of other partnerships in the, in the pipeline that I won't speak to until they fully materialize. But we really would like to integrate our content into other people's um, websites and, and outlets such that they have the opportunity to really educate their audiences. And something that I, I don't think I mentioned earlier that's actually really important is that everything we do is for free, right? When we came out and we started this project, we were actually a nonprofit originally. Um, so we were in the process of being housed underneath the Blockchain Education Network's uh, 501c3 structure. So we're currently a public benefit corporation, and all of the information that we provide for people is totally for free, no strings attached. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there's no ads on our site or, or anything. And so people often ask, okay, well, how are you guys making any money? And um, the answer is one, generous uh, viewers and, and people who believe in the, in the blockchain space. Um, two, impact investors who believe that by investing in our company, they're investing in the space as a whole. And three, we have affiliation links for products and services that we can thoroughly vet and, and use ourselves. So we don't recommend anything that we don't actually personally use. Yep, that's great. And I was just gonna touch on revenue models and creating a sustainable business. 
and it's great to have all this information for free because that is should how it should be but at the same time you realize that you need to create a sustainable business and the people that are pushing out this content delivering this value need to sustain their lives as well so currently you guys are working with affiliate networks there's a lot of uh, hardware wallets exchanges uh, buys and sells in which have opportunities for your company to make money do you see that as a sustainable business in itself or do you expand into additional revenue models as you continue to grow um, well we considered uh, gated content options um, but we decided ultimately that that would decrease the the trust that our viewers and our readers and our listeners have in us um, so we have decided to stay the course with that model we are um, very very frugal in our expenditures so we we actually have a very a very low burn rate. Uh, we basically put every dollar that we have into producing this video content. Mm -hmm. um, and so that allows us to really push out a lot. So, I mean, in the future, we have do dozens and dozens of videos backlogged that are in post-production right now. We write regular blogs, we send out newsletters. So it's written and video content on all, all manner of, of different topics. Mm -hmm. um, and we push that out on, on a regular basis. And we, we actually have enough logs for at, at least the next year to come at this point and I'm sure that we'll be you know we'll be making more as time goes on as well so um, we're, we're working primarily with those affiliate networks but also with our impact investors who understand that what they're doing is making an investment not only you know kind of um, uh, a philanthropic investment in, in the space but they're also making a very real um, economic investment because the more people that are involved uh, in a space that directly correlates to perhaps their other investments as well so mm -hmm. for example um, awesome ventures who is our, our, our main uh, investing partner, um, you know, we're part of their portfolio, but if you look at their other blockchain company portfolio, those are all people who need lots and lots of users using their platform. So the more people we can get involved in the space, number one, the more, the more safe and stable the space will become. Um, number two, the, the better all these companies that are, that are working within the space will be doing as well. So it's really, um, it's a cyclical positive feedback loop in that sense. And we're hoping that we can really build that kind of trust with people. Uh, so right now, what we're really focusing on is, is getting, getting this content, which is totally free. It's high quality. It, it makes perfect sense. It's in English, right? No gobbledygook. You could give it to your grandma and she would understand it. We actually use that as a test. We gave it to our grandmas. Uh, and, and we want to put it in, in front of as many eyes as possible. So um, we are really excited about the opportunity to work with a number of, of companies and publications to really get this out there um, in, in front of as many eyes as, as we can. That's great, Zach. And as you continue to expand, are you also looking for more strategic partnerships, investors, or team members, or just more publications? Um, well, absolutely. I think our main focus at this point is, is strategic partnerships, for sure. Uh, I think that, of course, you know, it's the more the more money we have, the more we can pump into SEO, so that people who are googling things like Bitcoin come across us and not some scam website, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but also, in addition to that, you know, we're really looking for these companies that already have a user base um, that uh, maybe hasn't been fully converted yet. So a lot of people, for example, might download a wallet app um, and never quite use it because they aren't a hundred percent sold on it yet. And so taking the existing people that have heard about the Bitcoin and blockchain space and, and the whole the whole space as a whole cryptocurrency and taking those people and turning them into true members of the community rather than auxiliary members of the community is, is really where a lot of that opportunity lies. So we're totally in the market for strategic partnerships and we're you know we're very excited to be working with CoinMarketCap. They've been an excellent partner as well. That's great to hear. And if there are partners that are looking to get involved with Goodbit or just people looking to learn more information, what's the best way for them to get involved? Yeah, well, we push out videos every single week uh, at Goodbit on YouTube. So please subscribe, check those out. Um, and then we're on Twitter at Goodbit101. And our website is www.goodbit101.com. And to reiterate, everything there is free. You're not going to see us trying to sell you anything. There's tools for investing. There's tools for um, storing your, your money safely. Uh, there's stuff for all levels. We have, we have in-depth, as we mentioned earlier, on mining, on cryptographic cache functions. We have beginner stuff, and everything is, is video-based. So if you, want, if you only have five minutes, this is the place for you. Amazing. I'll leave those links in the description box below. Thanks so much for your time today, Zach. It's been a pleasure learning about Goodbit, and let's follow up in the near future as you continue to grow. Thanks so much, Ashton.